Welcome back, everybody. Today is going to be such a fun day at Dollar Tree. I am going to bring you some tiles, clings, and stickers. First, we're going to be looking at some tile adhesives from Dollar Tree. They are spectacular. And then some window clings. There are so many choices out there this year, and even some at Dollar General. And then we're going to look and use some stickers, some really cute little fall stickers and what you can do with them. And then at the end, I've got some surprise supplies. Yes, that's right, from Dollar Tree that you might not even think of to use. So sit back and enjoy some really fun projects, tiles, clings, and stickers. Oh my, come on. Hey everybody, I'm Susie and this is Susie's Stuff. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146. I'm so happy you're here. I would love it if you'd click and subscribe and then click the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up or even a comment. So don't touch that dial. Let's go make some stuff. Okay, here we go. And up first is our textured tile pumpkin. And before we start, I found this cute little Inspire block at Dollar Tree, so I have to have it. So this is a really cool tile adhesive that I found at Dollar Tree, and this was over in the hardware section. And then uh, just one of those initial pumpkins, doesn't matter what initial, because we're going to go right over it. So this pumpkin fits perfectly on this square. I trace it and cut it. Okay, this is so funny because peeling off the back was so satisfying. Oh my gosh, but wait, I forgot to do something. I needed to paint the stem. So I'm gonna paint the stem really quick with some black paint. And then for the little hole, I just put a whole bunch of paint in there and let it dry. Okay, and back to the sticking step. Now we're ready. So I'm just gonna press that right on. And you know, just like it is, it's so pretty. That tile, decorative, um, all that is just beautiful. And of course you could leave it like that if you want to, but I have to paint it white. And so I'm gonna be painting this with some white chalk paint, just kind of getting it all in those little grooves. And then I take this feathered brush with some black paint and then very gently go over the top to bring out all the details. I was kind of so scared to not get a bunch of glob black paint on there, so I'm just going really slow and having some fun with it, and then we're done. <laughs> So the metal leaf that was on there, I put it right back. Plus I had another one from another pumpkin. So I put both of those, a burlap ribbon, and then a little touch of raffia. And here it is. It is gorgeous. I love, love, love this piece. What I don't love, love, love is the background. Sorry about that. I did not change my background. So it's kind of blended in, but this is gorgeous. Uh, sitting anywhere in your home. You have to make it. And our next project is Subway Tile Cling. And we're using a cling and a tile adhesive. I've got these clings and some foam board. And then have you seen these at Dollar Tree? They're over in the hardware section. I bought a whole bunch and I honestly had no idea what I was going to do with them. But I bought them because I'm like, they're so cool. And I just never thought of anything really. Oh, here comes that satisfying moment, pulling it off. All I did was cut my foam board to the size of the tile adhesive. I left just a little bit of an edge on there because we're going to create a, um, a uh, frame with those tower blocks. So now I'm just putting on a little bit of Mod Podge, Mod Podge, and we're going to add that big giant sticker right in the middle. I love this window cling. I wanted to use it, but I didn't know where I wanted to put it. And it worked perfectly with this tile ASAP. Oh, you have to have it. I did add Mod Podge to the whole thing so it would give a very unified look. 
And now I'm just gonna glue on these tower blocks. I'm not gonna bore you with putting them all together, but I did use seven. This was like a perfect square. I did, well, I did have to cut a little bit, um, but I'll tell you about that in just a minute. I made four of them and then I used burnt umber to uh, paint them with. I thought it matched with all of the colors in this, the window cling. So now I'm just kind of marking it and we are going to glue it all the way around. Okay, and I will tell you that um, I didn't cut it before I painted it. I'm sorry for my head being in there. <laughs> it's in there a lot in this episode. I need to be more aware of where my head is. But anyway, okay, so I get them all on there and my mom, she is here and she's like, I like it kind of sticking out. Well, I kind of messed up on the top there, you see, but um, I do fix it. And we'll get to the cutting in just a minute. I'm adding this beautiful burlap green. Isn't that so beautiful? Oh, I just love that green. That ribbon is from Dollar Tree. And then this beautiful um, sort of maroon check um, ribbon is also from Dollar Tree. So I just made two bows, one bigger than the other, did a little ducktail, and then I love it the way it is. However, I do cut it. And here it is. So pick up one of those tile adhesives, get you some clings, and go to town. I know you will be so creative and make something just as beautiful. More tile adhesives, please. This is the Copper Tile Wreath. And these little stick -em tile pieces I got over by the frames. And there was a whole bunch of different types of those. These are a little bit smaller. So I grabbed four and we are peeling them and sticking them on a piece of uh, foam board. And I don't know what my hair was doing there. It's kind of blowing because my fan is going. So anyway, I'm just putting these together and I get rid of that glare in just a few minutes. I move my lights so it doesn't blind you, but I just used four of these, put them all together. They match beautifully and done with that. So now we're just going to take an X-Acto knife and give it a little trim. All right, that trimmed off perfectly. Oh, just got to have a little bit of coffee. And let's see. Hmm, I had this reef that I had covered in burlap, but I'm like, nope, it's just too big. Do you remember this one that I made? It was a little ring that I had. It was a couple of episodes ago. And I think that fits perfectly. So I had another ring, and we're just going to cover it with some twine. I already did that and it fits great. So now I'm gonna take these little um, ball things that I got. I've been looking for them and I have not found them, but the lady was totally unpacking them and I grabbed a bunch of them. I think they are so pretty and very fall-ish. So I just took what I wanted to use. I love that little blue color and I'm just wrapping it with some twine to attach it to the ring. And then we're going to add a little bit of lamb's leaf and then a white pumpkin. So that looks great just the way it is. I love that twine showing at the bottom. And now I just add the little lamb's ear. I do think it adds a little something extra. So we're going to hot glue that on really quickly. And then I do use one of the little white pumpkins from Dollar Tree. Um, this lamb's ear came from uh, Walmart. They have little stems for $2. But here's the little white pumpkin. It's the one that has the little clip on it. And then um, I just put it right in the center. Perfect. Just like the last little project, I made um, a frame with the tower blocks and painted them with burnt umber. But what I did in between these projects was I ran to uh, Home Depot and bought some miter shears. Oh yes, and that's what trimmed them all off. I will link them down below. I got them for $19.95 and I just had to have it 
I've been wanting them. But anyway, I love this piece. Didn't it turn out so, so pretty? I hope that you can find these uh, tiles. I think that you will. I see them all the time. So grab them and make your tile copper wreath today. Our next project is so easy. It's called Clean Candle Holder. And I'm gonna be using these clings from Dollar Tree, a little glass vase from Dollar Tree, and just a candle. You can get those at Dollar Tree. I just had this one. And so I'm gonna just use the one in the middle that says home is where you smell pumpkin spice. I think that is so adorable. The one thing that's the hardest with these clings is I can't ever peel them off of the paper. It like the paper comes up and I don't have any fingernails and <laughs> I need a manicure bad. But anyway, that's the only thing hard about this is just deciding how you want it and peeling those off. See, I just can't get it. Oh, there I got it. And also what's so great about this project is there is no uh, Mod Podge painting involved at all. This is super quick. Your kids could do it. And I love this project. And if it doesn't work right, you just take it off and put it right back where you want it. Because it's a cling. <laughs> and so here we go. The last word is spice. And I do end up using a couple on the back. I think I use those big pumpkins and a couple of leaves. And then we're going to light this candle. Ugh, I can't get it. I think I need to get my tweezers out. Yeah, tweezers would be good. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> I just love how simple this is. You can add or use any clings that you have. There are some all kinds. I mean, I was really impressed with Dollar Tree this year with all the clings that they have. And make sure you ask because sometimes they'll put them in different places. And also check out Dollar Tree. They did have uh, some really cute ones as well. So check that out. I've got to add a couple of more leaves on there and we are ready to display it. And here it is all put together. I love that pumpkin. I can't remember where I got it, but it sure is cute. But look at that candle. I love those window clings. They are so fun to use. And there are so many different ways that you can use them. I love it on this glass candle holder. How darling. So grab your clings, grab a candle holder, and see what you can come up with. Guess what? More window clings. I'm going to be using the white pumpkin. This one's called white pumpkin cling. And I'm using a white pumpkin that they have now at Dollar Tree. I think I just was lucky and found it one day when they were unpacking. I haven't seen them since. But if you can't find the pumpkin, do what we always did last year is paint ours white or whatever color that you like. So I'm going to use a little bit of Mod Podge and I'm gonna be putting on the one that says sweater weather. I need my tweezers, hello, and stick that right on. It comes out so cute, and I also use the little berry things on the side as well. I think this makes such a darling little pumpkin. You can put it anywhere. I also think the trick here is patience and just sticking that on and getting them into the grooves and then using, I actually put on probably about three coats, maybe four, I think three, something like that. And it really helped to stick it on. When it's wet, you're thinking, oh, it's not gonna work, but just give it some time, it will dry, and then put on another coat. So now I'm using this darling Buffalo Check ribbon that I also found at Dollar Tree and then um, adding a little bit of raffia. Just gonna tie it really quick, cut it, and it's done. I don't even think I mentioned, I was talking right through it, that I added my own little stem at the top, just a little branch from outside, and it came out so cute. 
I love it. You can put it on one of these little candle uh, holder thingies that is also from Dollar Tree. I think everything there is from Dollar Tree except that towel. I got it at Dollar General. So enjoy making your window cling pumpkin. Okay, this next little series is all about lots of stickers. And the very first one I'm going to show you are these little copper frames. They were over in the frame department. I love that copper. I hope you can find them. And these are some Dollar Tree stickers, some fall stickers that they have out now. They're so cute, but sometimes it's like, what can I use them or how can I use them? So I am just cutting out four, uh, no, three little pieces of uh, brown paper that you can get at Dollar Tree, you know, the wrapping paper. And then this is the fun part, is I'm going to add all the little stickers that I want to use in my frames. And this is one of the fun parts, is putting all of your stickers and playing around and seeing how you want them to be. I love these stickers, I think they're my favorite. They have um, sort of a 3D feel, very textured, and the colors are wonderful. Now, there was one sticker on there that said, hello, something, it was spelled H-Y-G-G-E, and I've never heard of that before, so I looked it up, and I'm gonna show you here the definition. <laughs> okay, it's pronounced Huga, and it's a quality of coziness and comfortable conviviality that endangers a feeling of contentment or well-being. I think that's pretty good. Never ever seen that on a sticker. And here it is. I love how these turned out. And you learned a new word, Huga. And so I think these will be perfect sitting in your kitchen dining table, wherever. I love these copper frames. I hope you can find them. They had just put them out and they're over by the frames. And so enjoy making yours today. Our next little, little sticker project, I'm gonna be using this little frame and these uh, sort of 3D fall leaves, both from Dollar Tree. So I just needed something to stick the um, leaves on and everything else. So I used just some poster board and so I'm gonna cut that out to size and then we will add the stickers on. So once again, just placing those in there. I have to see how far I can go without uh, the frame covering it up. So I just kind of make a little mark in there and make sure that I stay within that area. I'm also using my favorite letters in the whole wide world are these wooden letters that I bought on Amazon. They are perfect. I have used and used them and I may be ordering some more because they're just awesome. So I'm sticking that all on there and then I'm gonna take it outside and spray it with some of this beautiful copper metallic spray and ta-da, look at that. Is that not so elegant? I love everything one color and it's just very neutral. You can add whatever you like. I started to put the glass in the front but I didn't like that. So I just put it in there and then I put the glass in the back pop it all together and ta-da, beauty. I think this came out so, so pretty. I love the neutral color and I think I'm gonna do a bigger one on a grand scale with some more goodies. So stay tuned for that and I hope you can make yours today. And our next little sticker project, I'm using these stickers some more Rust-Oleum uh, copper and one of the little wooden planks. I can never find those at Dollar Tree, but I did get some at Walmart. They have a packet um, pretty thick and uh, they were $2. And then I also, while I was at Walmart, got this really pretty copper um, wire, really soft. And so that was 98 cents for that little bitty packet. And so I'm just doing my little curly cues because it's going to be a little hanger. You can hang this in the kitchen on one of your cabinet doors, on a doorknob, uh, wherever you like, on maybe a hook that you have somewhere around. 
but I just love these little hangers. These are so easy, and I think this would be a, a really fun project to grab a whole bunch of wooden planks, grab a whole bunch of stickers, and um, have some girlfriends over, and then you can create your own little plaque, hanging plaque. Uh, everybody's would be different, and I just think it would be a fun little afternoon of crafting with each other. So I'm using these stickers here, the envelope with the little uh, fall leaves coming out. Here is a cute little pumpkin, and then I used the little uh, bushel of apples there. I think that probably would have been enough, but I did have to add a couple of more leaves. And you can see I also used my little wooden letters again. I am going to link that down below from Amazon because I think that any crafter needs these letters. They're just perfect. And I'll show you a display of that in just a little bit. So check out these three pieces of fabric that I got at Walmart. They were $1.25 a piece and they have the best fall colors. Oh, just gorgeous. And so what I'm gonna do is use some of that fabric, fabric on one of these little planks. These little planks come six in the package at Walmart. And so we're just gonna Mod Podge that on the top and the bottom, and then we'll cut it off uh, using a sandpaper block. And while that's drying, I have a little wooden circle here, a little wooden disc that I just took outside and spray painted again with the copper spray. And then this little leftover sticker from the other ones says, let's stay home. So I love that little sticker, popped it right on there. And then we're gonna use the um, other little plank to put it all together. Now I've got these little mini, mini, many uh, little pine cones they smell like cinnamon they're so cute and then they have these little orange peaches pieces in there that go perfectly with the fabric and all of the fall colors so I'm just hot gluing that on there again this is endless on how you can create these little planks I love them and then to add your little uh, wire at the top so I think that goes great together, putting it all together, and here you are. I've got two great little fall hanging pieces, let's stay home, and then the other one has autumn. I love it, I love it, love it. These are great little gifts for a teacher, or for a neighbor, or for one of your great friends. So enjoy making these sticker planks today. Okay, and then our last little project using some stickers um, is using this Dollar Tree frame. And um, I have some uh, burlap ribbon that's really wide. I got it at Big Lots. And then I've got some Dollar Tree ribbon. And I just showed you there really briefly um, some of those little tile stickers, well no, tile pieces from uh, Walmart. You have to have that in your stash. Those are the cutest little uh, letters ever. I'm just taking this ribbon and cutting off the gold part. I didn't really care for that, but it works great when you need it for a ribbon. But I'm just gonna put it across there. So all I did was put that in the front and then add the glass in the back to make it sturdy. Now we're ready to decorate. I hot glued Hello Fall from those little cutout uh, wooden pieces and then I'm just going to be adding some more of those beautiful fall sticker leaves and really that's all there is to it it just makes it very rustic and has beautiful fall colors and we're done I just hot glued those on just to make sure that they are secure and now you have a beautiful little piece for your entry hallway or wherever you like here it is. Hello, fall. I love it. I love burlap and I love all those textures. So I hope you can make yours today. Don't forget the letters at Walmart. And our last little series of projects are called Surprise Supplies. And there's the first one. These are some scrubbers. I was over in the cleaning department and I saw the word copper and I'm like, uh oh, copper. 
And then I looked at them closely and they look like pumpkins. Oh my goodness, how cute. This is so fun to do. They really, you don't have to do much. I just kind of um, scrunched them around and kind of lifted them up a little bit um, because they were a little flat. And then I went outside and got some sticks and then put those inside and hot glued them in. And they look so darling sitting around. Wouldn't you think? I mean, a scrubber turned into a pumpkin. I'm so glad I needed some cleaning supplies that day. Okay, here are my new little uh, miter shears that I got. And I'm just using those to cut off the branches a little bit, kind of trim them down. It works perfectly. And once again, I am linking the uh, link there to those shears I got at Home Depot for $19.99. Or 97 or something 20 bucks so we're just getting all those taken care of and put right in there and if you are a teacher watching how fun to have your kids create their own they can make the stem out of construction paper or just have them bring in some sticks from their home and you could you get three in a package for a dollar so now I'm taking my shears and I'm just kind of um, actually mitering them, doing it to the side there to look like a real stem, kind of give it a diagonal cut. And then I'm grabbing some of that beautiful ribbon that I used before, the green burlap, and I'm just going to cut a couple of little leaves to add in there. I did add a burlap leaf on the one over there to the left. How cute! And it's done all from a copper scour. And I love my little tractor. That's something I picked up years ago at Hobby Lobby on 90% off. And it just goes perfect with the little pumpkins. I hope that you can get yours because they always have the scours. <laughs> and our last surprise supply are sponges. And these are sponges I picked up at Dollar Tree. The round one is over in the sort of uh, bathing section where the bathroom section and um, I am going to be using that one and then the other sponge is sort of a pumpkin shape I thought was so neat. I'm also using one of these long boards that have the pumpkin cutouts and if you can't find that board they have tons of boards that you can choose from to create this project. So I'm just using a sort of a blended color of brown and I just went all over the board and then I'm giving it a good uh, sandpapering all over it to give it that rustic feel. Okay, so I was cracking up on this sponge because it says <laughs> nail guard on there. So this sponge has little bitty indentions in there. I guess you can put your fingers in there to uh, guard your nails, which I have none. I need to get a manicure so bad. Oh, I thought that was super funny. All right, so we have our white chalk paint and our big round sponge. And I just wanna tell you, I was so kind of discouraged, but don't give up. I just kept on going and I made the round sponge. I love it, turned out great, but I just needed a little bit more paint on there. So just push it down and don't put too much, just a little bit. And then that one came out great, loved it. But here comes the other one. I was just like, oh no, it didn't work. But it does work. So I have this pumpkin shape, sort of a long pumpkin shape sponge, you know, the nail guard sponge. And I press it on like it's sitting in front of the other one. So I was like, oh no, look how light it is. Oh, I don't like it, it's not gonna work. But don't worry, just let all of your pieces dry. Like let each layer dry and then go back again with your um, orange or whatever color that you want. You could use green if you like. And so just keep going over it. I did about I think three or three or four, just whatever you feel is good to make it a little bit darker, but yet look like a sponge. So it finally came together. I was very pleased. I was very happy. Don't give up, just you never know. And so I cut a little piece of sponge to make the little stems. Yep. 
Yay! I think it came out so cute and I would like to do a bigger piece like that. Um, you know, maybe a little bit wider and then add some more details. So I did add a little bit of green uh, ribbon again, that green burlap ribbon, just added that on. How cute is that? All right, and then guess what we're gonna use? A window clean. And so I'm gonna use the one that says, Hello Pumpkin. I don't like the uh, glitter on there. So I'm taking my Sharpie paint pen and just running it right over the top and it covered it beautifully. There's a couple little spots I needed to cover up again, but it worked out great. So I'm just gonna Mod Podge that right on to the top and then we'll let that dry. Make sure you get all the little um, bubbles out of it. I didn't even put it on the top, I just added it to the bottom. And then all I'm gonna do is grab some twine, add it to the top and the bottom of the cling, make a quick bow around my hands, add a button, and we are finished. How cute is this little crafty project? Woo, it was fun. Never know what you're gonna find at Dollar Tree, so make sure you go down every aisle because I'm so glad I found those sponges and I'm so glad I found that copper scouring little scrubber. So enjoy searching and finding your treasures at Dollar Tree. How about we take a look at all of them together? Woo, this was a big crafting day. I loved bringing it all to you and I hope that you had a piece of paper and a pencil to jot down some ideas. I love those tile adhesives. I've been wanting to do that for a while to kind of give you some ideas because I had no idea how to use some of that stuff. So I just fiddled around and played with stuff and those window clings and the beautiful fall stickers that they have out now. So I hope I inspired you to create all these fun Dollar Tree fall pieces of tiles, stickers, and clings. And my question for you today is, which one of the projects was your favorite? Leave it down in the comment section below. I love chatting and hearing from you all. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this tile adhesive window clings and sticker ideas. I had a great time bringing them to you and I can't wait to see you next time. Don't forget to watch on Tuesdays is my 60 second DIY and on Saturdays is my full DIY episode. So thanks for watching Susie's Stuff KDIY channel 146. Bye everybody.